on everybody this is island hopper tv coming to you from Peron town here in the philippines this is palawan's second most famous island maybe the most famous depending on what you like we're starting out here at the market we're actually doing some island hopping today as you can see they've got butchers right there hello sir good morning hello sir good morning on the floating bridge all right, so today we're going island hopping out to Peron Island from Peron Town Port. Out here you will see Cagayan Lake, Twin Lagoon, Barracuda Lagoon, maybe do some snorkeling. Hello, sir. How are you? All right. Travel time is 15 to 20 minutes. And we're off. We're here in Kayong Lake. This is actually an area you can walk up and get nice views as well. But yeah, look at this place. Yeah, the boat ride out here took about 15 minutes and once you're here you walk across this wooden plank and then you walk up some stairs to a amazing viewpoint and then you go down the other side towards the lake where you can swim fresh water 30 percent salt water here on this lake Cool. We stayed here for about an hour and swam in the lake for a half hour and then we headed back. They don't really sell much food out here but they do have some snacks like coconuts and deep fried banana. Most people consider Kayangan Lake to be the best activity to do while here in Karan, although I would say that's because of the viewpoint more so than the lake with the view of the lagoon here. And we're actually headed to what I consider to be the better lake. This is Barracuda Lake and the boat ride takes around 10 to 15 minutes to get there. It's very scenic as you can see. And the reason they call them lakes is because it is 70% salt water and 30% fresh water and it's in the actual island, not here on the ocean. Now depending on the time of year you arrive in Quran, there may be many boats in this area. In this case we were here in September, this is actually off season, it's not peak season. But you can see there were still too many boats so we had to actually walk across another boat to get to the dock. The walk out to the lake from the dock is actually quite interesting. You can see it winds through this rock formation and then you arrive at the lake here where they have some deep cliff diving. So if you like free diving, this is your spot. Okay, so we're gonna go check out this cliff right here and see what's down there. Our guy here when you're in Quran. Hello. <laughs> if you want to experience uh, this kind of travel, so book in the experience travel for uh, travel and tours. So it's amazing here in Quran. Thank you. Hello. What do you have there, sir? Uh, I don't know. Is that seafood? Seafood, yeah. Boat captain. Oh, hi. Hi. Wow, Boat what is that? Sea urchin. Sea urchin. Sea urchin. Oh my god. So cool. Mm. 
One thing that may be interesting to you is they do have these floating house hotels you can stay at. Look them up on Google. Yeah, so here we are at Twin Lagoon. We're gonna do some kayaking and go from the first lagoon to the second lagoon. But you can see, very beautiful in here. And they have some free diving down there in the Twin Lagoon. Let's see what's out here. For me personally, I found the Twin Lagoon to be one of my favorite activities above the lakes even. So if you guys like lagoons, this is the spot to do some kayaking. Be sure to get one of those see-through kayaks while here because really awesome experience. You want to walk across the stairs instead of paddle underneath. That's a good boat, sir. But I have no money on me, sir. It's good. Good boat. Yeah, your boat. You made of styrofoam, huh? And bamboo. Pearl. Her loss. Nice. Where's the beer, sir? Oh, very good, sir. Gotta wear a life jacket, it's mandatory, so. Don't even think about asking why. So each individual area has a different caretaker for the island and there's different environmental fees that you have to pay to get into each place. It ranges between 150 pesos to 200 pesos per person. But most of these places, their caretakers require you to wear the life jacket. This is beautiful. Now let's talk about Quran, things to do while here. So you can do mostly Kayan Lake, you can do Twin Lagoon, and you can do Barracuda Lagoon very easily within the same trip. We're also at a beach here. There's three different ones. There's Smith Beach, Banuel Beach, and then there's another one just over the way. That's on the other side of Quran Island. So you can do beaches after you do the lagoons and the lakes and get a viewpoint. So really a lot to do here just on the island hopping tour. If you go towards the south part of the island or the east part of the island, you'll also find other activities such as a safari. I take it back, it's actually on the west side of the island. So they have a safari with giraffes and zebras. Pretty cool, right? Because this island right here really is just like an African savanna. Did you know that? Banyol Beach is a good place to have your lunch. They don't actually cook out here, so no restaurants. You bring the food with you from Karan Town that you buy at the market and your captain will cook it for you in most cases. There's lunch here. We've got some pork, some chicken, some rice. Yummy. <laughs> by ferry from El Nido or you can actually arrive by ferry from Mindoro but the preferred method is flying into Busawanga Airport which is really the main area of the island and you can fly into Busawanga from El Nido you can also fly in from Porto Princesa Manila Cebu City so many different flights coming into the airport here it is a small airport and it is a prop plane but look at Cebu Pacific or Philippine Airlines as well as Air Swift. Those are three different airlines that fly right in here. Now when you're in the Philippines, be ready to drink 
San Miguel beer. They also have Red Horse, but I prefer San Miguel Light. It's a light beer. Uh, it's perfect for a hot day. Yeah, so here we are at Sunset Lagoon. The reason they call it Sunset Lagoon is because if you look straight that way, you actually get the sunset. But right behind me here is the hidden beach inside of a cave. So we're gonna try and kayak in there. One of the big things that stands out as a difference between Quran and El Nido is I would say here in Quran things are just a little bit closer together uh, on the island of Quran in particular. Whereas in El Nido it seems like you've got to go a long way to get to the island or islands and things are just kind of spread out. You're on a boat kind of going all around uh, quite a bit. Whereas here in Quran it seems like you're just one activity after another quite close five minute rides here and there so that's one of the things that i've found to be very convenient about quran and it seems like the lagoons here are better we're actually going to do the el nido video coming soon here so if you guys are interested in heading to el nido definitely watch that i'll put the link below in the description and in the comments also check out our other channel, Island Hopper Travel Highlights, which is more behind the scenes, raw footage. And here we are arriving at Skeleton Wreck. This here is an old Chinese fishing vessel. It's about five meters deep at its most shallow. We'll see what's down here. Uh, yeah, this is a beach, kind of interesting. Lots of snorkeling. Town. This is Quran Town. What a place. So here's a bit of information about Quran Town. So it's not actually on the island of Quran. It's on Busawanga, which is the bigger island in the area where the airport is. Well, here in Quran Town, don't expect too much nightlife or any real excitement like that. It's really just a dive outpost where you can get the 
equipment and gear very minimally. Uh, they don't have much here. They have a few massage areas, some restaurants, but that's about it. Hello. Thank you. And as I was cruising around here, I noticed that they had some TikTok activities, but really it's aerobics. People are staying active, using music. This is common all across the Philippines, but they're definitely doing this out here in, in Karan Town. And on that note, that's going to conclude this episode of Island Hopper TV from Karan. See you guys on the next one. Watch our El Nido or other videos from Philippines. By clicking the end screen here under recommended and watch next, I highly recommend the El Nido video.